parents, Coach Todd and Lori Gerhardt, a college professor. Boy, there's lots of proud parents in this room here tonight, Kirk. Yeah, mood lighting continues here in the back set, Chris. The, uh, the one thing, one thing uh, that's interesting, Mark, and, and looking at today is it's Mark Ingram Day in your hometown of Flint, Michigan. Very cool honor for you. A, a tough town going through some tough times economically, obviously. What did you learn growing up in Flint that you think has helped you to succeed down in Tuscaloosa? Just to push through all hard times. As long as you set your goals for yourself and push through them, nothing can stop you. Just set your goals high and aim for them and don't let anybody knock you off track. In it. And as long as you set your mind to something, you can accomplish it if you, if you have the inner drive to do it. You've talked a lot about how your dad has been very responsible for you being here tonight and having such a, a great year this year. What's your message to your dad tonight? I know he's watching. It's just I'll tell him thank you that I love him to death. Sometimes when he was hard on me younger in life, I didn't understand why, but he would always tell me that I'd appreciate it later in life, and I really do because it's helped me become a better football player, a better person, and, and I'm just very proud that he's my father. Toby, for you, we were just talking, 1-11 your freshman year to a great year this year. Jim Harbaugh has done such a tremendous job in turning that program around. In your mind, what's the difference from that freshman year as a team to where you are now in New York City and your team had such a great year? I'd say the passion for the game. Coach Harbaugh has just brought in this love. It seemed to not be there my freshman year. And as he's been there the past three years, we've continued to get better and better. He tells us, he tells us to approach each game to be physical. And I think we've done that. And as a result, we're, you know, we're 8-4 and four and going to a bowl game for the first time in eight years. To hear that you play baseball and, and also football, it's not like you just pick up and play a little baseball. You guys go to Omaha almost every single year, and you're a, a great player playing baseball. Can you talk about the challenges of being a two-sport a two athlete today and, and what uh, allowed you to get through that, along with carrying 21 hours, it seems like, per semester? Time, time management. Time, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I could just harbor on that. But, uh, you know, it's just being committed to everything, to football, to baseball, and to school. And you got to balance your time. Do what, be at each place when you can. Don't take time off. And just, just soak it up, enjoy it, meet with the coaches in your free time, and just learn the system. But, uh, I mean, I've had a great time doing it, and I, I wouldn't change a thing about it. Congratulations to you, and, and also Mark to you. All right, Chris? Boy, just.